Hello everybody, and are you all well today? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear that. And is everybody ready to go flying today? <laughs> oh, that is good, because so am I. And where are we off to today, you ask? Well, we are starting out in one of the airports at Stockholm. This is the ESSA Arlanda Airport and we're going to pop over the North Sea to one of the London airports. That's EGSS at Stansted. You know this is quite an interesting flight request because it was requested by two different persons. One is Vicky Ricky who wrote and said greetings from Stockholm and then asked me to fly between Arlanda and London Heathrow. And the second was Victor Ekman who wrote, if the time falls in, maybe you want to stop by Stockholm Arlanda, my home airport sometime, since Ryanair just started flying there. Victor didn't specify a destination airport, but taking the clue that it was Ryanair he was interested in, I checked to see if Ryanair flew between Arlanda and Heathrow, but unfortunately they don't. There are, of course, Scandinavian airline flights between Arlanda and Heathrow, but not Ryanair. In fact, I saw there are only two Ryanair destination points in England from Arlanda. That's Liverpool and London Stansted. So I wrote back to Vicky to ask if I could use Stansted instead of Heathrow. Unfortunately, as of today, I haven't had a response. So I'm just going to presume agreement and fly to London Stansted today from Arlanda. Now Ryanair flight 4692 flies this route. And if you want to look it up on FlightAware, just put in FR4692 and you'll get all the information about it. Now I looked around for some P3D scenery for our lander, but all I was able to find was some really nice freeware scenery on the AVSIM website. Now this particular scenery is really quite nice and it was designed by Ray Smith and adapted for P3D by Robert Catherall. EGSS London Stansted Scenery, of course, was designed by Gary at UK2000. And I have the high definition version installed, which is really nice and detailed. So Vicky and Victor, if you are ready, then put on your Ryanair uniforms and join me in pre-flight, okay? We need to check the weather and make ourselves a flight plan. Are you ready? Then let's go. Well, here we are in Flight Aware, and we're looking at the uh, recent Ryanair 4692 flight. And here you can see the designators right here. It can be RYR 4692 or FR 4692. And it left gate F65, which is in the Terminal 5 section. And it arrived at Stansted in London, but it doesn't show what stand. Now looking here at uh, the flight, you can see here it took off and swept all the way across 
the top end of Denmark came in and landed at Stansted Airport. Let's have a look at the flight altitude that it was assigned. 38,000 feet. Okay, well, we'll try to see if we can get the same as the as that one. Uh, taxi time, it doesn't spe specify what it was, but it said 10 minutes at Stansted. And the average delay it's showing at Arlanda is 10 to 20 minutes. So, well, interesting. All right, let's have a look at the wind. Now here is the wind for ESSA, E-S-S-A. This is our lander. Here's where it's located, right here. And at the moment it's showing it as being VFR. Wind 280 degrees at nine knots. Ceiling and visibility is okay. Temperature is zero. Dew point is minus six. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm going to need warm coats for there. Q&H is 1019, a little high pressure, pretty much like England at the moment. We've got a little high pressure and it's clear, but very cold here in England. It's, well, we've got about the same temperature in England as they do here in Arlanda. Having a look at the runways, we are going to be parked right about here in this northern part right here uh, this is where in looking at the history i find that this is pretty much where all of the ryanair flights go in and out of um, looking at the runways i was anticipating it might be runway 26 which is this one up here. Um, it's an 8,200 foot runway, which is long enough. But it also might be this, but it would be a crosswind takeoff. Well, what else is new with Ryanair 186? We can handle everything. Well, we'll see what the SIM brief gives us and what ATC clears us for. Now, here we are looking at London Stansted. Here it is. There's, there's Stansted and it's to the northeast of the city of London itself, right up here. Wind is looking pretty steady at 200 uh, degrees and six knots, varying it's got. Oh, well, we could have some interesting landing there. Visibility is 500 meters. So it is definitely uh, IFR if it's even open. Hmm. So there's the visibility fog. We do have fog where I'm at. So this fog seems to be uh, just about all over the main part of England today. And Q&H 1026, high pressure there. Visibility, <laughs> ah, look at that. It says visibility is zero. <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting. We may be given an alternate airport and we may have to do another, another airport. We'll have to see. Looking at the runways, uh, there is only the one and it will be this one that we will be coming in at. And according to what I can find out, uh, pretty much all of the uh, Ryanair seems to be on this particular extension here. We'll have to find out if that's uh, going to hold up. All right, let's go into sim brief and we'll make ourselves a flight plan. So. We are Ryanair, we are 186, and we're going to depart from ESSA, and we're going to go to EGSS. Oh, and it's given us EGCC. I can't quite remember which one that is, 
think that may be Manchester. Our airframe is this. Cruise profile six, there's our registration information. Scheduled flight is two hours and 40 minutes. They're giving us a one nine right departure here. Uh, I don't know if that's the actual one that we will be on, but we will find out. Arrival runway, runway 22. Uh, we'll put in flight level 380. And of course, passengers, we are always full. We are always sold out because we have one ton of complimentary champagne and caviar. What else? I've got the current air rack cycle, so we're good on that. And this, this is the route. It's got total distance of 807 nautical miles. Well, that's quite a little ways. And here, there it is. There's the, the route from Stockholm over Denmark, past Amsterdam, across the, the channel and then into London and Manchester being the alternate. All right, we'll go up here and we will save the flight and then we'll generate the flight plan. Let's see how this comes out. And coming up, all right, here we are. Here's our flight plan. Originating, there it is, it's still got, and there's our cruise, flight level 380. Airtime, two hours, 11 minutes. I'm going to be using uh, my main tanks and the belly tanks on this one, 9,088 kilograms. And there's the entire routing. Going down, having a look at the information. Here's the Ryanair 186. And here, that's the flight altitude that we've been given. That is our flight route. And that is our alternate should everything go pear-shaped, which of course it never does because we are perfect. Cost index six, we'll need the average wind. There's the block fuel and here's the reserves and right there, trip and taxi. We'll need to add those two together to get our flight info. And th this is the route. I'll be putting this in the description box down below. All right, going down here and having a quick look. There doesn't seem to be much information there. 200, we will need this information. We will need this information and we will need that information for flight level 10,000 feet. Since we're going to be cruising at 38,000 uh, feet, here you can see some interesting temperatures. Minus 61, minus 62, minus 62, minus 63 over at this point some very cold temperatures indeed. So, minus 64, wow. So we do have some cold temperatures outside. All right, zoom down, let's have a look at the weather that they've got for us here. Oh yes, there's the there's a frontal movement. We're going to have to cross this to get into the UK. 
So that is going to have an effect, I think, upon our flight, but that's going to be at flight level 320. We'll be 6,000 feet above that. This is the, the chart that really concerns me, is that we have all of these crosswinds here. Do you see these tail feathers? Some very, very strong tail feathers there. And it's also that with those minus figures beside it showing temperatures. A lot of cold temperature and it's going to be crosswind until we get down here. Then it's going to be headwind. Let's look at our level. Here's flight level 390. This is closer to us. So we're going to be having crosswinds all the way. And when we get down here over Amsterdam, then we're going to start to hit headwinds as we go in to Stansted. Uh, it's going to be a little bumpy. Here's our vertical profile. Climbing from Essa, going up to the top of Climb. And we're going to be pretty much following, it looks like, Right along this wavy line, this is the troposphere. We're going to be following the troposphere on this. And then we drop all the way down into Stansted here. Okay. We can take this. We can handle this. All right. Then if you're ready, Vicky and Victor, sh shall we go into Navigraph charts and see what we can make for a flight plan, shall we? Here we are in Navigraph Charts, so we click New Flights. We want it from SimBrief, and here's the one that we just put in. Here's our ESSA. We'll open that up. We're going to need the airport information, and we'll need the Northern Stands chart. We are going to be up here. Pier F seems to be where all of the Ryanair flights are departing from, so we're going to be up in this vicinity. We'll find ourselves an empty spot. I suspect, if we can get it, we'll go for F38. F38. And we will also need the Parking coordinates. Here's all of the coordinates, and right here, uh, F38, that is going to be what we will need to put in to our IRS to localize ourselves. All right, this will be our departure. Unless, of course, they change the departure runway, we'll be leaving on this. So I'm going to put the pin in on this. And now I'm going to go on all the way over here to our arrival. Open the charts list here. We will need the airport information. There's the airport chart, so I'll pin that to the bottom. And parking stands, yep, that's going to be useful too. We'll need to know uh, when we come in where we should be parking. All right, now looking at the other part. This is the arrival chart that they're suggesting. We'll be coming in at Rennes and then making our approach. So I'll put that in. And then it says we'll be on runway 22. So let me go here. And we are coming in on category 3 DME on that one. So I'll pin it. And then I'll bring this up. So here's the, here's the 
approach chart for coming in. Let me just give myself a bit more space here. So if I click on here, I'll need to, we'll be using the ILS Runway 2 to at Abbott. There is a holding pattern here. If, <laughs> if anything goes wrong, like there's a lot of traffic that we have to contend with before we can come out and then go straight into our runway. But that's the approach. That's fine. We can handle all of this. Okay, we are now set. Our route is all in. All we have to do now is go on into the cockpit and let's get ourselves warmed up. So are you ready to fly, Vicky and Victor? Good. Then let's go into Ryanair 186. Ah, hello there, Vicky and Victor. Do come on in. One of you can take the first officer's seat and the other one the jump seat right behind. It doesn't matter. You're going to get a lovely view from no matter where you are in the cockpit. <laughs> now, I've made our starting point here at ESSA as stand F42, F42, Foxtrot 42. And that's in the northern part of the apron. And I chose this because this is pretty much where all of the Ryanair flights go in and out of. Now the scenery, this is all freeware for ESSA. And it, it really is, it's quite good, it really is. It's very detailed. For freeware scenery, they've done a very good job with this. So kudos to the designers. I've got 9,088 kilograms of fuel on board. I've been around, I've kicked the tires, I've made sure the windows are clear and clean and we are ready, I think now, to go through our startup procedure. What do you think? Shall we do that? Okay. All right, I turn on the battery, check that we have 26 volts. And then I'm going to turn on all the fuel and start the APU. And let's see what we can do about getting some heat in here because it is cold outside. You can see there is snow on the ground here at Arlanda. And uh, although it's clear, it could change. All these things, of course, could change. Right. The engine gas temperature is rising very nicely here, which is showing that it's working well. And in a moment, it'll start to slide down. And then this blue light, this light here, this will turn blue. And then I can switch from batteries to the generator in the tail. Getting ready. There we are. We now have 115 volts showing up here on the voltmeter. So I'm going to turn on the left IRS, the right IRS to get the GPS system working. I'm going to turn on the galley, always going to make sure that we get everybody with good hot drinks. Emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belts. Well, I always call for the attendants to come, you know, Vicky and uh, Victor, but they never come, they never come. Over here, I'm going to turn on the window heat, very necessary, and because it is cold, I'm going to turn on the probe heat. I'm going to slide open the window and tell the ground crew, keep your hands off the probes, you twits. How's that? See, that way they won't go sticking their hands on, on hot probes. And then over here, I'm going to turn on the electrical pumps. 
And now I'm going to turn on the bleeds and let's there it is there's the air coming through I'm going to turn on the steady light down here that way the crew everybody down below knows that we are working on the system right I've just adjusted the sound because I had it was off a little bit so now I've got the standard sound back on so we're ready to go to the next stage sometimes these little bugs do happen so I now I'm ready to go and program the FMC our reference airport we are starting out at ESSA so ESSA we are at F Four, two. I'm going to put it in, but I don't know if it will come up. No, nope, not in the database. So we're going to have to look at the parking coordinates for F42. According to this, we should be 59, 59, 39, 3 and 17564 59 39 3 there it is and we'll put that right in now we'll go to our route origin is ESSA and we're going to go to EGSS that is Stansted we are flight Ryanair, so we are RYR 186. And go down to next page. And here is where we put in the information for our flight route. The first point we go to is Petev. So we'll put in PET EV. And then we take the November 872, so November 872, and we go to LPAX, P-A-X. Then we take the Zulu 703, so Zulu 703, and we go to or mixer whoever designs these names UMIXA my goodness UMIXA and then we go direct to Kulud K U L U D and then we take the Zulu 703 Seven zero three, and that will take us to ALS. ALS. Next page. Then we take the November eight seven two. So November eight seven two, and that will take us then to PAM. P A M. And then we take the Lima 980, Lima 980, and that will take us to Idrid, I-D-R-I-D. Then we take the M40, sounds like a motorway, doesn't it? And going to Rinis. R I N I S and that is our root so we've got it in so we activate press the execute go to the fix and we'll put in our destination EGSS and we want a four mile radius 
We want a 10 mile radius and we want a 30 mile radius. Go to descent, go to forecast. Transition level in the UK is assigned by ATC, but we'll leave that for what it is. But we do need the descent information for these three flight levels, because they will help us then with all of the speeds and everything that we need going in. The destination is 1025 for the Q&H. And for speed and wind direction, at flight level 200, it is 20236. So 20236. At 150, it is 202 at 26, so 202 and 26. And at 10,000 feet, it is 204 at 18, so 204 and 18. And then execute that. Departures. Now, for departure, we need to tune in to the ATIS to find out what the active runway is here. And the eighth is 11900. So 11900. Orlando Airport Information Charlie 0932 Zulu wind 264 and 8 visibility greater than 20 miles sky condition clear temperature 1 dew point altimeter minus 61019. Zero, Landing and departing one way, two, six, VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Charlie. Well, we have Charlie, and the active runway is going to be 26. So, looking at my charts here, there's runway 26, 8,202 feet. We can handle that. We can handle that definitely. So, I'm going to put in 26 here. Peteb 1K. So we'll go, this is the Petev 1K, so I'm going to select that one now, execute that. And for arrivals, we're still proposing to come in on runway 22 and using the Abbott transition. And we will be on the, the Rinis 1 Alpha approach, so we'll be doing the Rinis approach. Alpha approach, there it is, right there. Transition habit, good, put that in. Now we'll go into legs, and I'm going to now switch now to plan, and check to make sure that this is a good route. So I'm going to step through each of the points. So far so good, this is a long route, so there's a lot of waypoints on this one. Eight pages of it on the FMC. But it's still looking good so far. Now there's the Abbott. And I'm going to bring this up. And that brings us straight in. There's the Abbott. That brings us then straight in onto the final for landing at runway 22. So back to this. I'm going to put the weather on mine. Activate the data. Can I put your terrain on yours and I'll put that one for you. I'll now turn on the TCAS so everybody can find out where we are. And then I'll select 20 miles for the patterning on here. Right, now I can turn on the yaw damper and the flight continuity light goes out. We're looking good. Now I need to set up the rest of the information. So up here in the flight altitude, now this is for pressurization. We are going to be flying at 38,000 feet, so I'm going to set this for 38,000. That's got that. 
Our runway elevation is 348 feet. So I'm going to set this for 350. Now this is the pressure that the airplane will have once we land. It's all automatic. So that when the doors open, there'll be no severe popping in the ears. Now on here, I'm going to need to put in 250 on the course because that is the departure and I'll do the same here 250 can I do yours okay all right 250 on yours okay got that good we'll set the altitude presuming that we are uh, get a clearance all the way up all right now I'm ready to perform the initialization now the fuel reserves at 2644 so that would uh, that and 5808 gives us 8,452 or 8.4 so 8.4 for the plan now the reserves 2,640 that would be 2.6 so 2.6 and double click that and it calculates our cost index is 6 our cruise altitude is 380 and our cruise wind, the average wind at our cruising altitude is 282 at 53. So 282 at 53. Transition altitude in the UK is 6,000 feet, so we leave that. Outside air temperature is one degree. Wow, one degree. Hmm. Take off, we'll do flaps 10. Make sure on that. Double click this, that will give us the center of gravity. And B1 rotates B2, that is 148. So I'm going to put 148 up here in the Mac. There we go. Now I'm going to check this. Click on the flight directors and I'm going to push VNAV, LNAV and I get green lights on both which means we have a good flight plan. So now I'm going to arm the throttle, do the VOR1 on both and we are getting ready to go. Now the decision height at London Stansted is 50 and it's on the radio so I'm going to switch to radio and I'm going to put in 50 on that. So now that is showing down below on here. Okay, now I'll switch to RTO. And I think that we are just about ready to get ourselves for a push back and start. Now, we're going to push back and we're going to have our tail go to our right and our nose to the left because we need to go out there to where you can see that aircraft at the moment we need to go out there for taking off so I'm going to tune to ground and ask for clearance to depart to the south since that's our general direction ground one air one eight six request taxi for departure to the south with delta Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 26 using taxiway Zulu Whiskey X-ray X-ray 5, contact tower on 125.125 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 26 via taxiway Zulu Whiskey X-ray X-ray 5, Ryanair 186. Well, we are, we have been given our clearance and we're to go out there and then we can take off on runway 26. So, in order to get ourselves ready now, check your seatbelts, we're all good. And, right, 
fuel, everything is checked, all the fuel is on board, windows are all locked, <laughs> yes indeed, seatbelt signs, they are on, door lights, we need to bring up the stairs and close the doors, need to make sure that these two lights are out, there you can hear the electric stairs winding in, And there they are, they are out. MCP is all set and cleared. Takeoff thrusts are done. Speed CDU pre-flight is complete. Rudder air on trim is set. Taxi briefing is collect. Anti-collision light is now going on. So we are ready now to start the engines. And we have kamikazes, oh dear. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to go and ask the nice people on the bottom to give us a pushback. We want an L shape, we want our nose to go to the left 90 degrees, select the tug. Are you all ready? Is everything set? In that case then, let's ask. Tug to ground. <coughs> We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Copy that. Ready to push. Tail to the right. Parking brakes released, please. Parking brakes are released. Brakes released. Now, which engine would you like to start, Vicky? You can call on this one. Oh, number two. All right. Well, we have to turn off Brakes the air conditioning go. and the heat. And now I'm going to switch this to start the engines. And the start valve has opened. <coughs> the end tube is climbing very nicely. When this gets to 24, we'll introduce the fuel. <coughs> and there's the fuel going in. Now we're looking for the engine gas temperature to rise. There it goes, there's the engine gas temperature going up. We're getting a good start. We've got all kinds of aircraft around us. And the oil pressure, low oil Push pressure back, light please. has gone out. Parking brake, set. Parking brake is set. Brick set. And we can hear the engine start. So I'm going to now switch over to engine number one. We have 115 volts on engine number two. Steering pin is pulled. Watch for the slip release from vents on your right and have flight. Thank you very much, gentlemen. The end the it's climbing up 21, 22. As soon as it gets to 24, I'll bring in the fuel. There's the fuel going in. And now the engine gas temperature is climbing, it's going up, that's good. Oil pressure is also looking good, it's climbing. We're looking for the low oil pressure light has gone out. And we're good. We're getting a good ignition. Orbit 6082, taxi to the gate. Orbit 6082. And we're looking up here to make sure that we have 115 volts. There it is, 115 volts. And we have 115 volts on both engines. When this little tick mark goes out, this red little line here, that means that we've got stable generators. Good, now I can switch to the main engines for our power. I can turn the heat back on again. Turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU. Okay, everybody's clear on the bottom, so I'll turn on the taxi lights. And I'm going to go to flaps 10. And everything is climbing very nicely. Okay. Our 
to start generators are on, probe heaters on, anti-ice not required at the minute, it's clear enough, isolation valve auto close, engine start levers idle deep tents, flight deck door is closed and locked, recall is checked, flight controls check, flaps, we have green lights, stabilizer trims correct, auto brake is RTO, speed brake lever down and detent, ground equipment is clear. So we are now ready to taxi to the active. So let's check, make sure everything is looking good. All right, attendance, we're getting ready to move. Brake is off. Give a little bit of power to get ourselves unstuck. There we go. And we need to take the Zulu taxiway to get to the active. So that would be this one right here. Just checking, clear, make sure everything is clear. This is a really nice airport scenery. This is really a delightful one for freeware. They did a very good job with this. Well done, fellows. Well done. Pacifica 4071. 
we've got the fasten seatbelt sign on and we are currently 10,000 feet and descending so I'm going to put the principal lights on and get ourselves ready for that the airport is IFR so we don't have an IFR flight plan but we're going to land anyway we're Ryanair we can do anything so we'll be making our ILS uh, approach to runway 22 just as we planned but as you can see the visibility is decreasing and it is limited so take your seats fasten your seat belts and let's get ourselves ready to land at Stansted
on course to land. <coughs> We're flaps 10. Our speed is holding good. I'm resetting the MCP to 3,000 feet in case of a missed approach. The airport is in sight ahead through the fog. Not very clear, but I can see a little bit of it.
Now we're going to need to turn left here and go down this taxiway to get to the uh, parking stands. This is also a Ryanair hub, so there will be a number of Ryanair liveries to be seen here. See over there, Ryanair? is really really lovely airport scenery here this is UK 2000 the designer of this continue down here a little bit until we see where all of the Ryanair uh, are all parked and then we'll join them. This is also a hub for FedEx. Earlier, this was entirely covered in fog and the airport was closed. But apparently, that fog has lifted because <coughs> we're now able to land. C. 
be over there. everything off okay fuel is off APU is off battery is off shutdown is complete all right well we made it got a small problem with my tiller wheel I'm going to have to make some adjustments on that because it was far, far too sensitive and it caused me to drift a little bit there. 
Also, we came in very well. The airport scenery was very good, but the runway when we touched down was a little bit obscure. I knew that we were on the runway because the Vasi lights were directing us right into it. And eventually the runway did come clear. But I think it was probably a memory issue more than anything else. This was a very long flight after all. And there's a lot of files that get built up in the shaders folder. And when it gets too full, I don't think P3D handles it very well. But we made it. We're here at 52 Romeo and we are in one piece. So I hope that you enjoyed the flight, Vicky and Victor. I hope that this was what you were looking for. I'm glad I was able to do it. And we will see you all next week for another flight of Ryanair 186. Bye, everybody.